Patricia's Pulse, quick takes on business trends. From Wall Street to Main Street, business is evolving at lightning speed. I'm Patricia Baranowski Schneider, and this is Patricia's Pulse, where we break down the trends that matter in two power packed minutes. Let's dive in. Talk about micro factories, the future of local manufacturing. When we think of manufacturing, many of us picture massive factories with endless assembly lines, but there's a revolution happening in manufacturing that's turning this image on its head the rise of micro factories. These small, highly automated production facilities, often no bigger than a basketball court, they change in how we think about where and how things are made. Micro factories represent a perfect storm of civil technologies coming together. Advanced robotics, 3D printing, AI-powered quality control, and smart logistics. But what makes them truly revolutionary is their ability to produce customized products at nearly the same cost as mass production. Imagine a shoe factory that can produce perfectly fitted footwear for each customer, or a furniture maker that can customize pieces for specific room dimensions, all within a facility that fits in a suburban warehouse. The economics are particularly interesting. Traditional factories achieve efficiency through scale. Micro factories achieve it through precision and flexibility. They require less capital investment, can be set up closer to customers, and can quickly switch between different products. Companies like Arrival, an electric vehicle manufacturer, are already proving this model by building buses and delivery vans into micro factories that are 20 times smaller than traditional auto plants. This shift has profound implications for supply chains and local economies. Instead of shipping products across the globe, companies can set up micro factories in their target markets, reducing transportation costs and carbon footprints. Cities that lost their manufacturing base decades ago are now seeing opportunities to bring production back but in a form that's cleaner, quieter, and more sustainable. What's particularly exciting is how micro factories are democratizing manufacturing. Small businesses that could never afford traditional factory setups can now access production capabilities that were once reserved for large corporations. We're seeing entrepreneurs launch hardware startups with minimal capital, testing, and iterating their products in ways that weren't possible before. However, this trend also raises important questions about workforce development. While microfactories create jobs, they require different skills than traditional manufacturing. There's growing demand for workers who can program robots, manage digital production systems, and troubleshoot advanced machinery. This is spurring new partnerships between manufacturers and educational institutions to develop the needed talent pi- pipeline. The key takeaway is that microfactories aren't just smaller versions of traditional factories. They represent a fundamental rethinking of how we approach manufacturing. As this trend continues to evolve, we're likely to see more products being made closer to home with greater customization and lower environmental impact. We are helping businesses worldwide with award-winning IRPR marketing. Want to stand out? Contact me at P-B-A-R-O-N-O-W-S-K-I at pristineadvisors.com.